You grew up Mormon. Yes. Um, and <laughs> that's where then we <laughs> that's where we yeah. were. And then you got into the industry while you were living in Arizona. Yeah. How did that whole thing get started? So I had um, an ex of mine that did um, camming uh, way back when one of the biggest um, cam sites, all girl cam sites, um, maybe had four pages up total. Like, mm -hmm. so there was no one doing this back then. Mm -hmm. And she was killing it at it. And we had, you know, she was doing different shows and stuff. And we had made some videos of us and things like that. And we were selling them online. And um, as soon as I made some of those videos, other girls that were camming also in the Arizona area had seen me um, with her and in asked about it. And I had worked with a couple of those other girls. And they're like, hey, like, you could maybe even do like, are you doing porn? And I was like, no, but you know, um, I've thought about it. And um, I had a job where I was kind of writing my own schedule at the time. I found um, Nubiles out in Arizona, and I mm -hmm. saw a lot of girls talking about it. I didn't ever go the route of asking girls online how to get in the industry, because that's never a good route to go to. You don't ever want to sit there and ask them that. They don't know you from anyone. It doesn't matter. Go find an agent. Or in my case, I sent Nubiles an application. And obviously, the applications were all geared towards women. But I was like, hey, I obviously am not trying to pretend to be anything. I just don't know how any of this works. How do I do this? And they were like, hey, we've been looking for like a guy in Arizona just in case we have people who leave shoots or don't make it out or I guess don't fly out or testing, you know, all, anything that could happen. And so they just hit me up and they're like, hey, like if you go and pay to get yourself tested, we'll give you a test shoot with another director who's trying to make his way in, into this and like another talent, a female talent who's trying to get into the industry. And so, um, yeah, you'll do a shoot. And if you do it, we'll just pay you back for the test. So I'm literally not making anything. I'm just making my money back. And back then paying 250 bucks to get tested was like a lot of money because my yeah. rent was like, it was like a quarter of my rent essentially. So I'm like, wow. okay, I really need to like save to actually hit that mark. And then also if I don't think I can do it, I shouldn't do it because I'm just going to waste all this money, you yeah. know? Yeah. So I kind of want to get a little bit more into like your actual application to New Wild yeah. Films because like you said, I get so many emails yeah. from guys who want to get into the industry. And they're always like, how do I do this? Um, like, what did it look like? Like, did you write a professional letter? Did you send no. photos? Like what, how, how did that go? I honestly don't remember all of it. I think they just had the standard, like, Model enter form. your name. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you, you know, um, height, weight, breast size, you know, all that type of stuff. And then send pictures, essentially. For breast size? And so, right? 42B. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, I, I put all, I, I just put that in. I sent the pictures of me, obviously, and was mm -hmm. just like, hey, you know, this is what, you know, where I'm at. Like, what can we do? And yeah, it ended up working out like that. So I think that's, yeah. uh, that's a good point, though, because I do get a lot of emails from guys and they don't send photos. Yeah. They're like, hey, I want to break into the industry. Like, right. this is my name. Like, this is, yeah. it. and then I'm like, photos dude this is right. a visual industry yeah, or like, a link to some sort of only fans or something, something else and yeah. obviously too it's like dude like not to be rude to you guys about there but i'm like you've seen what i look like you've seen what a lot of the guys the guys look at you've seen what they're working with too if you don't fit that man try doing it on your own first but the studios and stuff are probably not going to be looking for it yeah also if you don't live in the continental u.s why Dude, like, you know, I know, I, I know. I, we know what states were, what countries we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we get a lot. Like, I get a lot of guys. I mean, look, to be honest, like, like I get a lot. I get a lot of guys from like the Middle East writing to India. me and from India. Yeah. And the, the thing is, is that even if like you're a very like capable right. possibility to get a working visa yeah. to come out here and shoot. Right. Is like damn near impossible. Yeah. So it's like, I don't yeah. know what to tell you because also I shooting porn list, there is illegal right i always just you list know what i list is i'm like here's the thing i'm like this is what you're gonna need you're one you're gonna need to get yourself to the united states you gotta get yourself to or LA, at least to which europe which is one of the most expensive cities to yeah. live in you're gonna have to put yourself up in some place which is probably gonna cost you at least two grand for the month then on top of that you're maybe gonna work two or three times and that's if you're lucky and you're gonna get paid next to nothing for that work because this is like it's a game where I've made a good foothold in this industry. If I'm not available, they'll start looking down that list. If you're still that new, you're not even going to get looked at, man. Like, it's that hard. Like, when you first start, you're making next to nothing with a rent that's just insane. And trying to, and then on top of that, you have to pay to get tested. So that's going to cost you easily another 400 bucks a month. 
Like you better have a good amount of savings and time to be able to get out here. Otherwise it's just not going to happen. Like, and yeah. yeah. And I think you got to really yeah. think about it because so many guys I think think, oh, well, this is just this license for me to like fuck hot chicks for right. free. It's like, I always called it it's kid not in the about candy that. store. Yeah. It's that, that type of mentality yeah. right at the beginning where you're just a kid and the kid, you're like, I can fuck everybody and everybody wants to fuck me. And I'm like, that's not how this works, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's the quickest way to get yourself like canned you know yeah. yeah and girls will do it too it doesn't even matter about the directors the girls will take care of that that quick you know yeah. <laughs> you start acting like that word girls around right away and then they're like okay we're just never going to work with that guy yeah, yeah. the industry is small and it's over before it even starts so yeah, yeah. 